Yo, what is poppin' people of the internet? It is live from Vegas. We have just got some of the most exciting news in Rainbow Six Siege history right in the dead center of a season. It's kind of weird. I got two words for y'all. Tachanka rework. And there's a lot more. Let's jump right into it. I want to talk about the balancing first. The ace, they're going to reduce the number of explosions on his gadget. So essentially, you know, before it would go, it would take out the little two by two area three different times. Now it's only really going to explode twice, not three times. I know a lot of people are thinking that this is a nerf to his gadget from three to two. Now you're reading it wrong. It's the explosions that are getting a change, not the actual gadget itself. So no need to worry there. He's still going to be taking out hatches and all that stuff. So they explain their reasoning. Um, if you take a look at the wind delta, yeah, Ace is ranking in too strong overpicked. So makes sense he's getting a little bit of a nerf. No worries there. But what's insane, boys, what's insane here is Frost, a year one operator, getting a massive buff of getting a shotgun secondary weapon. Um... This is a vibe, man. A lot of people are going to be picking Frost now. She's going to have a huge presence in the game. So um, get ready to get those ankles broken. It's such a great addition to Frost's kit because she does have a really good gun and that just got the buff with the 1.5. But now they're adding more versatility to her kit because she's kind of just in the middle. Getting some buffs to Glass. Um, I don't really think anybody cares about this. I'm just gonna move on. What's insane though is Malusi and Oryx are gonna be trading weapons. So it's kind of, depending on which guns you like, I guess it's preference, but I think most people would agree putting the MP5 on Malusi is a hard nerf. Um, and that's actually so crazy because I was just talking to the homie the other day. I was like, yo, they should give Oryx the vector and give Goyo the MP5. And they ended up doing something so similar to that, so I was like, what the hell? But anyways, um, yeah, so they're trading guns and they're trading scopes. So orcs can have the 1.5 on the T5, which is going to be awesome. I think that's going to make them a much better roamer because the MP5 is kind of like a more of an anchor gun. More steady, slow rate of fire, less recoil. The T5, you're just running around and spraying and praying, as we know with Malusi. So that should be a nice buff for Oryx and a nice little balance for Malusi to bring her down a little bit. So that's what's up. Tachanka. Um, the patch notes here are just showing the scope getting removed, but I think you all saw the Tachanka rework. If you don't know, I'm going to be posting some gameplay either today or tomorrow. I'm on the test server. I'm going to be running Tachanka only. You know the vibes. But anyways, if you don't know, he got his LMG. The one that's previously mounted is now in his hand as his primary gun. It's cracked as hell. And then his new gadget is no longer the turret. It's an incendiary grenade launcher. So they really just turned the meme, the Lord, into the actual Lord. He's going to be raining down Hellfire with a grenade launcher. Pretty insane. All right, so let's talk about something really weird that they added here. And that's going to be a big shield change. Um, they're adding an entirely new mechanic to the game. As you can see here, this whole paragraph is called Guard Break. So I guess the Guard Break is some sort of new mechanic that... If you get like a, if your shield gets damaged, whether that's melee, explosions, whatever, it triggers the guard break, which I guess makes you slower. Um, all right, it's, let me just let me just read it off here because one another part that's important to note is they're they're buffing. One thing that's important to note is they're upping the rotation speed of the shielded operators. So like. Basically their turn radius, their sensitivity is gonna be so much better. So they're gonna be able to like block bullets quicker, move their shield to like uh, block melees and all that kind of stuff. So I think the guard break is triggered and then they can't like, basically their sensitivity is nerfed kind of like they got a stun grenade put on them or something. Um, definitely interesting. And one thing that they wanted to add this for was basically this change here which is that Clash's new shield is a hard counter for shielded operators because it will now trigger the guard break. So basically, if any other shield pops up on Clash, she just zaps them and then they, they're they stunned, man. They are beyond stunned, so that is really interesting. 
But then they go on to say here that we're aware that shields are frustration. So that's why they made this saying that it's a nerf, but it's like, is it really a nerf? Because you gave them the rotation speed, you know what I mean? So I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's like a little buff for shield and a little nerf. Definitely a hard buff for clash. Like, I don't know, shields to me just don't need to be in the meta, so I don't know why they're even adding all this in, to be honest. Nobody's really asking for this change, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like we're sitting on the edge of our chairs like, Oh my god, we need a guard break mechanic. Like, no, okay, whatever though. Uh, we got buffs to two shotguns here, all they did was just uh, increase their damage range by like double. So these things are going to be spraying at range. Um... And then shout out to the boy Get Flanked, everyone on the Logic Bomb podcast. Um, I guess they're bringing every one-time scope to every single gun. And then Tachanka still has the Russian scopes. If you didn't know, he can use the LMG primary, but he can still use the SMG if you want um, with the Russian scopes. So it's pretty legit. So real quick, let's take a look at the wind deltas. As you can see, in my opinion, like I said, they just buff shields and Blitz is already at the top. Like, now this man is just gonna skyrocket. Like, his, he's gonna start moving this way as to one of the top characters in the game. So, I don't know what they were thinking with that whole guard break thing, but whatever. Um, as you can see, Ace up high, we said this earlier, catching a nerf. Blackbeard performing really well. Um, the new character for the season zero, I've been playing him nonstop. Um, and he's clocking in pretty decent like his win rate is not too good He's just like chilling right in the center. So pretty good drop there and Ash and Sophia are just gods um, I'm actually surprised that IQ is up this high because IQ like um, She lost the G8 ACOG, so I don't know She's still vibing though, and then you got glass all the way down here straight buns. So that's why they buffed him Anyways on a defense We got we got the Illuminati himself, Jaeger, always off the charts. We got Malusi, who's going to catch a nerf with that MP5, possibly, who knows. Um, Valkyrie performing very well. She might be looking at a nerf, like, maybe in the next season. So, who knows. Smoke, Legion, Bandit, Gods, overpick too weak. I don't think anybody thinks that Smoke is too weak. Smoke is a god, so... I don't know, these wind charts don't really say much. Like it also, we got Tachanka up here, like, come on, Tachanka's not up there. It's just cause he, uh, when people pick him, they actually end up winning the game cause no one expects a Tachanka. But now he's gonna be an actual GOAT. And as you can see, we got Oryx down here. Like he's um, underpicked too strong, but he's gonna get a buff. So we'll see what the charts come out. As you can see, Clash all the way down here. So I guess Clash getting a little bit of a buff is cool, but Personally, I think Clash is the most annoying character in the game and should just straight up be deleted. I know there's a community of us that think that, so I'm not the only one. Um, let's take a look at the ban rates. Thatcher, Monty, Blackbeard, Jackal, Ace, Maverick. Cappy Tau at 1%. What's interesting is I've been watching some pro league matches and I can tell you they ban Cappy Tau every single time. I know that's because they're planting and all that and not that many plants happen in normal, you know, games, but still. Capital guaranteed ban in Pro League and Maverick as well. For defense, Mira, number one. And that's crazy to me because I feel like I've never seen Mira get banned like in an actual rank game. Echo, Malusi, Clash, Valk. Yeah, I feel like I see way more like Valk, Clash, Malusi. Yeah, all than Mira. That's weird. I feel like I've never seen a Mira ban in game, but that's what the data shows. And yeah, Maestro at two percent. Maestro needs to catch a ban. He was catching pro league bans. Personally, I think Maestro is the best character on defense. And that's all for the designer notes. This has been Year Five, Season Three Point Three. Huge changes right in the mid season. I'm hyped for it. I'm hyped for the Tachanka rework. Stay locked to the channel for some of that. For all the changes. Um, I'll show you guys the Malusi and Auric gun changes, everything. It's been live from Vegas, man. I'll see you guys online. Peace.